Hello, Aries viewers. So I'm going to see what's going on with your situation. Um, a couple weeks ago, the reading I did, I was getting that you're very protected. You're, And I feel that even more so now. I feel a lot of protection around this group. Um, and your guys are pissed. And there's some sort of crossroads where someone basically had to get in or get out. Um, I'm not even sure. I'm going to see what the cards say, but I'm not even so sure that they have the, the chance to, to come in anymore, actually. I think that might be, I think, because your guides, a couple of weeks ago, your guides were getting to that point where they were just done. Like they were, they were done. Like they were, they were giving this person like one last tiny chance, but I kind of get the sense that, um, that chance was just blown. I don't, I don't feel it anymore. Well, let me see what the cards say too. I don't know. I don't know what the story is. I know I had a lot of, um, I had some Aries message me and tell me that they're in that, um, the energy group of the, uh, the cut and clear spell that I did last night, which makes a lot of sense. So I feel like a, like something shifted drastically for you guys, but let me see what the cards say. So then a pentacles, can you guys see that? Okay. The hermit. The Page of Swords, the Devil. Okay. Let me readjust that for you guys. There we go. What comes after the Devil? Can you emphasize on the Devil? Five of Cups. Okay. The Hanged Man. Yeah, the Hanged Man's about letting go. And then Ace of Cups, but I feel like this is a new story. I feel like this is a new love, actually. I think you finally set yourself free of this this toxic person, whoever this was. Um, for those of you that are following me. Which, you know, a lot of Aries have, like, messaged me and told me their story. So that actually makes sense. It resonates with the spread that I'm getting right here. So I feel like the, the roles could be reversed here. So this could either be you or your person. But someone was kind of in hermit mode and with the Sun of Pentacles energy, this is like bleeding for something, like working, like putting your all into a situation, like fighting for something for months or years, giving it a lot of your time and energy until you're pretty much burnt out. So this could be um, you and then maybe you kind of isolated and went to hermit mode and reconsidered this and realized it just wasn't worth it to you. And with the Page of Swords, this could be like clarity coming in. I feel like this could also be... Um, like a closure or some type of message coming in, maybe some um, communication from your spirit guides being like, okay, let's get out of this energy. Enough is enough. Like kind of just getting over it and kind of recognizing that this person is not that they're the devil, but that kind of like, I mean, they might, they might, they might be like, they might be very dark. You know what I mean? They might, they might be a very dark person, but it's nothing to worry about because you're, you're so powerfully protected. Like I was getting that you're protected a couple weeks ago, but I feel that even more so now, especially if you just, if you were with me last night and you did the cut and clear spell, like even more so, like you are, you are so like, you don't even know how protected you are. Like pretty much anything this person sends at you, this person, I can feel this, this devil energy, pretty much anything this person sends at you, like any kind of negative intention is actually, it's not only is it not going to affect you but it's actually going to go back on this person tenfold so let's say they try to um I don't know just just put the put the negative intention of of you losing like if you're in a relationship and they put the negative intention like they're jealous of your your new partner and put and put the intention of it not working like not only will it not even affect you but it will actually bounce back on them and their relationships will suffer. <laughs> um, if they put the intention of, of messing up your finances or messing up, uh, if you have like children or something and they try to mess with them, like it's, it's going to go back on them and they're, they're, they're going to get screwed up. Like they're there. So it's like, not only is it not affecting you, but it's actually going back. Like your spirit guides are taking all that negative energy and basically I don't know how they're doing it. It's almost like they're like transmuting it to like bless you. And then they're at the same time, it's like they're throwing it back on the person and making it so that like they're like they're hurting themselves. Like the more they try to hurt you, the more like that bounces back onto them and like 
hurts them. Like if they try to mess your relationships up, like it bounces off you and your relationships are blessed and their relationships suffer. <laughs> um, or like financially, you know, like it bounces off you and you get more money and then like they lose money or like some of them, I hate to say it cause it's, you know, it's, it's harsh, but honestly I keep feeling homelessness. Like I keep feeling like some of them could be on the verge of homelessness, especially if they keep doing this because it's a karmic cycle. It's some kind of karmic lesson that they were meant to learn. And remember, remember if you guys were following my Aries video like a month ago, I was getting like, oh, they do have a chance to learn this. They do have a chance to do things differently to be a better person. But it really and, you know, I hate to say it because I know it hurts you guys, you know, but I hate to say I hate to say it, but I, I feel like they're they just restarted another karmic cycle. So they're not, they're not going down that road that, that road that you might've hoped they would go down where they, um, you know, become a better person and, and own their shit. You know, they're, they're doing the exact opposite. They're, they they just started. I don't, I don't even know if they can avoid it. I actually feel like there's like almost like a portal or something where some kind of karmic cycle just restarted and they're pretty much just stuck in this energy now, but they've done it to themselves, you know? Like they've done it to themselves, but yeah, you're more, you're even, you were protected a couple weeks ago. You're even more protected now. So you don't even need to worry about this. Um, cause I know I had like an Aries being like, like, I think I had like an Aries, um, last night that was messaging me and being like, oh my gosh, I think someone's like doing black magic. And it's like, they, they can't, it won't, it might like. It's almost like they're doing like all this, this spell work to like mess your life up. And it's like you stub your toe and you're kind of irritated, but you're totally fine. And then the next day you get like some kind of blessing or something or so, like it's transmuted. You know what I mean? Like it's transmuted into blessings for you. And it's so strange because I've never, I don't even know what it is because I've never gotten this energy before. Like I always, because I, I do spell work and I've always thought that like if someone attacks you, you have to like do reversing spells or you have to like defend yourself and do witchcraft this and I don't I don't even understand like do you for those of you that do magic do you understand this energy because I don't I don't even actually understand it because it's like your spirit guides are just straight up taking care of it for you like you don't even like you should do the cut and clear work but like other than that like you don't even have to do like defensive magic or anything if this is your story in your group um not that that doesn't help, but it's almost like, it's almost like if you did defensive magic right now with what your spirit guides are doing on top of it, you would like put this person in like the hospital or you'd put them in like, like jail or on the streets or something bad if you decided to go that route. Um, it's almost like, I don't want to say you're too protected, but it's like, wow, like you, you got it good right now. You really, you've really got it good right now. I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, for those, for those witches on my, on my page that watch this, that are in this energy group. Um, and again, it doesn't, you don't have to be a witch to be in this areas, areas reading, you know what I mean? To be in this energy group, it could just be, you're not doing any kind of witchcraft, but your guys are still protecting you. And that would actually make sense for those of you that are not witches, because some of you are not comfortable doing spell work. So your guides are just kind of taking care of that in the higher realms for you. Um, but yeah, it's such a, it's such a strange energy because I've always felt like you have to like bind someone or you have to do defensive magic or whatever if you want to protect yourself. And this is like the only time I've ever actually channeled like your spirit guides are like in the higher realms, just straight up doing all the magic for you. Like they're just taking care of this. They're just banishing this person. Like you have like angels, you have gods and goddesses, you have beings from other realms probably too. Like you have so many different beings that are just straight up like pushing this person away and banishing them. And the more they fight it, the more they're going to screw their life up, basically. Like they're they don't even know how much bad karma they're incurring right now. I think because whatever they're trying to take away from you is your birthright. So that could be like that could be a career, that could be like a relationship, like a soulmate relationship, like your your life partner. That could be um, like a soul contract that you have or something like that, that they're something like that, where they're like, they're trying to take away something that was destined for you since you were born. And so that's, that's very, whatever that energy is, it's very pure and it's very sacred. And it's, it's so, you don't even know how protected it is. Like this person is like a little ant 
in comparison to all the spirit guides that are protecting them. Like your, your spirit guides are almost like laughing at this person. Like, are you, you, you can't like, you can't, you can't even touch this. You're not, you could never in a million years be strong enough to touch it. Like, like even with all their spirit guides, they still, and I almost feel like this person's spirit guides might start turning against them. Like, cause they're, because they're going down a darker path and some of their spirit guides are kind of like, dude, you need to know male or female. They're like, no, nah, you can't. You're, you're not going to you're not. No, like you're you're trying to mess with like the laws of like nature and the universe. Now it's not it's not going to work. There's no loophole for that. There is no loophole in existence to be able to do what this person is trying to do. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're trying to, but it's, it's just, they're, they're actually, they don't even know how bad they're messing themselves up and it's all going to hit them like right in the face all at once, you know, for those of them that are like just sending this negative, negative energy out, it's all coming back on them tenfold. So like, they're about to have a pretty horrible tower moment, like job loss, relationship loss, homelessness, poverty, like ev everything, whatever they're trying to do to you is going to happen to them tenfold. I'm not like what mark my words check back a year from now and let me know like I bet this person you're gonna like you're gonna you're gonna be at the store and you're gonna see them like you know asking for spare change outside of the store or some crap like that I'm not even kidding I'm not I know it sounds crazy I'm not even kidding that's the energy I feel that's just what I'm channeling which I know sounds strange and I'm also really excited for you guys because I know some of you are like like when I do like the airy, like, you know, private like Aries videos and stuff, you guys are like, dude, why does my ex keep showing up in my readings? <laughs> and I'm like, they're actually about to finally not show up in your readings anymore. So congratulations on that. Because they're not even like, I feel like a lot of you must have done the cut and clear spell for me to be, be channeling this because I feel like. I don't know what it is. Or maybe, like I said, some of you don't do magic, but like your guides are just taking care of this for you. It's like, and it's so interesting. That's why I'm like, so on that. I'm like, I've never seen that happen before where your spirit guides are just straight up, like doing all the defensive magic and all of it. Just, they're just taking care of it. Like you can just kind of chill and you're good. You know, I mean, it's good to like dabble some protection oil or light some herbs here and there, but, but overall, like you're just, you're, you don't even know how protected you are. Like, and this person's not even, um, I feel like they're either not in your energy field now or they're about to not be in your energy field. Some of you I might be channeling like in advance. Some of you are going to go do the cut and clear spell tonight. I feel like maybe you planned on doing that because you couldn't do it yesterday or maybe now that you're hearing about it, you're going to go do it. Um, it's on my, my channel, but, or again, some of you, some of you don't do magic, but your guides are just doing it. They're just, you're just praying and you're just like, please cut these ties and your, your guides are just like, sure, done. Like, just tell your angels, tell your gods and goddesses, your, your, you know, fairies, whatever, whatever beings you work with, tell them, tell them straight up, like, please cut this person out. Like they're, they're listening to you. They're protecting you. Just, you know, make that affirmation. Like I'm done with this person. I'm, I, I set myself free of this person, you know, but, um, but yeah, sorry. So when I channel, sometimes I start rambling a lot. So what I was saying is I'm actually really excited for you guys too, because you know, you've been saying like, why is my ex always in my readings? Like, I don't like, and this is for a few different Zodiac groups that I get, but Aries is one of them. And I feel like you guys are finally free of that energy. And they're, they're either not in your energy now, like in your energy field, or they're about to not be like, they won't even be like permitted to come through in your readings. Like they're just going to straight up, like, like if you're watching like a reader on YouTube, their, their guides are just going to straight up be like, nah, you're not even part of this person's story anymore. Get the hell out. Like they're not even going to let them come in and try to, and which is, that's powerful. Like you guys don't even, I don't even know if you guys comprehend how powerful that is. Like you've got like, like literally, literally probably hundreds of spirit guides protecting you. Like, and there's this, this little annoying mouse that keeps trying to get in and they're just like, dude, are you really, are you really, are you, are you really like, it's like irritating, but it's a joke. It's, it's, they, they literally laugh at it. Um, anyway, sorry, but I'm just happy for you because I really feel like the next reading I do, I feel like we're going to be in a new story. I actually just feel that so strongly that we just wrapped up 
the Aries Zodiac, they just, you guys just wrapped up a karmic cycle. Like you just, something just ended. For some of you, this could be like some, some other situation, like a friendship or something. It doesn't have to be love, but some kind of toxic karmic situation just came to an end. Like, so you're, you're free. You're going to feel the sense of freedom in the coming weeks, I feel. But um, anyway, so the story was, so so either like you bled for this and you went into hermit mode and really tried to make this work, but then you had some like harsh kind of clarity and you're realizing this person is like in devil energy, like they're, they're toxic. Oh, sorry. They're, they're like, they're toxic. They're negative. Like you're, you're seeing them in a different light. Like you're seeing their true colors. You're not, you're not looking for the good in the beast anymore. You just see the beast now. That's all you see. You know, not even taking it that seriously, probably. But you know what I mean? Like, you just see the devil energy now. And so it's like you're letting that go. Um, yeah, Five of Cups is like he or she is letting the ship sail away. It's like, bye. Like, bye, Felicia. <laughs> like, not even. I mean, you might be sad about it. I'm sure some of you are sad about this. Some of you really fought for this for a long time. And so it's kind of a it was kind of a shock. But but overall, it's like you're letting go. Like you feel like, look at that. It's like she's just, it's like a free-spirited kind of energy. You know, he or she is just like in the moment. They're holding this flower. Like they're just, they're just, they're good. You know what I mean? Like you're good. For others, I feel like it's your person that's been fighting for this, but they're like, there's some kind of harsh communication here or something or some kind of closure and devil energy in there. This is almost like somewhat something like an energy, like taunting them. And they can't escape it until they let go and l like move on. You know what I mean? Like they can't, if they hold on to you, the devil energy is going to get worse for them. Like they're going to, they're, like I said, their lives are going to get pretty screwed up and they're not even going to see it coming. I mean, they might kind of be feeling it a little bit, but it's going to be like, Like someone dumps them and is like, dude, I want you, like, I want you to move out <laughs> or I want male or female or like, I want to break up or I want to, or like, you got 30 days to move out. You haven't paid rent, like something like that, where they're going to be like, oh crap, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have done all that black magic. <laughs> like, Jesus, they, oh gosh, they don't even know what's going to hit them. Um, but you can't feel too bad for them because they're doing it to themselves. You know what I mean? Like the, the harder they come at you, the more their life is going to get screwed up. There's no way around it, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited that I'm going to be able to channel. I feel that I can't say for sure, but I really feel I'm going to channel a new story. Um, that a new, new story is going to be coming through in my cards, uh, when I do the readings on the first. And if this is your story, if you're in this energy group and you want a private reading, just send me an email. My email is below. It is dragon enchantress at AOL.com, but it's right in the description box. So you can just copy and paste it. And I can look more into the situation, into what's coming in for you in the future. Um, you just wrapped a major cycle up, like congratulations. Like you just met, wrapped a major karmic cycle up. You got off the merry-go-round. You stood in your power. You set yourself free. Some of you are still coming into this energy. Like this is like the coming, like the next week you're doing this. But most of you have already done it, I feel. Like you guys are, you guys are free. Yeah, and you have it. You're going to have like a king or queen of cups coming in as a result of this. Two of cups, love offer. Oh, that's good. Oh, sorry. I want to show you guys. I'm pulling the cards. That's some good energy. And it's smooth because I'm almost seeing in this context, it's like three of wands. Just in this context, it kind of looks like aggressive and it's like, it's just smooth. Like you're good. You're good. Some of you, some of you, this could be actually a third party situation where you might have had like a karmic or something that was trying to keep your person away from you and they're letting the karmic go. And the karmic is going to try to break you guys up, but she's not going to be able to. Like, this person might be messaging you this week and being like, you know what? I choose you. I'm tired of the karmic's drama. 
Um, that's just for a select few of you, not too many, but some of you, it's, it's a situation where, where the, someone's choosing you over a karmic and the karmic's going to try to do black magic to, um, get them back and it's going to backfire on them. Cause I almost see this as like an aggressive, could be male or female, but like an aggressive person. And it's just like reverse. Like there's, they, they, they're, they're a little mouse. They're, they're not male or female. They're just a little mouse. They can't do crap. What else? Page of Pentacles could be a new start with career or stability. Could also be stability at home. Ace of Swords. So clarity, um, communication, freedom. I feel like your third eye is going to open up more now because I feel like this was, I feel like this energy was kind of weighing you back a little bit. And now it's like your third eye is going to open up even more so. Or your other chakras. Like something, something really good is going to come of this ending for you. Like you're... You're, it's almost like your guides are going to bless you for everything you had to deal with with this situation, this person that you just that you just cut this karmic cycle out with. Like your guides are going to bless you for dealing with that because you didn't have to. You know what I mean? So like your guides are going to like whatever you put into the into the connection, you're going to get back tenfold. So if you if you gave this person love over and over and over again and they didn't love you back like you're gonna have someone you're gonna have like a king or queen of cups come in that's gonna give you all that love tenfold um if you put money into this situation and like they just took your money again and again and again you're gonna like win some money or like you're gonna like gamble and win some money or have something like that happen where you just get blessed with money um like whatever was taken from you or like whatever you had to suffer through like you're gonna get blessed for that like you're going to receive that good energy for that so so yeah you're this is this is a good reading there's just a sense of freedom with this reading there's just such a sense of freedom the emperor yeah it's over with this controlling person whoever this emperor was it's over with a male male or female could be a could be a female and emperor energy too and i think with the moon cycle it's over with which was last night Ten of Swords. Um, yeah, that's like an ending. It's like the the it's like the final. It's just done. Nine of Swords. It's like a final battle or something. Like you're almost like it's hurting you. You're anxious, but it's like Ten of Swords. It's like it's over. It's done. It's done. It's all done. Um, about to wrap this up. But yeah, like I said, email me um if this resonates. My email is in the description box below. And any donations are appreciated too. Even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. Yeah, you know, six of pentacles, giving and receiving, like this new person, this new person, look at all these good cards regarding love coming in for you. That's amazing. It's either just come in or it's coming in. And don't, like I said, don't worry. Like this is, this relationship is protected. Like this relationship is so protected. Like you don't need to worry about this other person, this karmic or whoever it is. Like if they, if they even try to mess this relationship up, like all their relationships are going to fail they're going to, they're going to get screwed over by people. Like they're, like I said, whatever, like I was saying in the beginning of the video, like whatever they try to mess up for you is going to not only not mess things up for you, but it's actually going to bless you. And then it's going, the negativity is going to go back on that person tenfold and they're going to suffer. So it's like, they try to mess your relationships up and the next day you meet your soulmate. <laughs> and then the person trying to mess your, your relationships up ends up breaking up the next day. It's that kind of energy. I'm not even kidding. And again, I'm, I'm curious to talk to other witches because I'm like, have you guys ever experienced that? Like in all my time as a witch, I've never experienced like spirit guides just transmuting energy just on their own like that without having to do magic, you know, just like straight up, just taking care of everything for you. Like you can just you can go chill on a beach and drink some margaritas and you're just good. Like you're just that protected. Like I've never, I've never seen that happen before. I'm like, that's pretty awesome. But yeah, giving and receiving, you know, you're going to have more of an equal give and take with this um, king or queen of cups. Yeah. Rewards for hard work. Good karma is coming to you for all that you've been through. You're going to get paid back tenfold the magician you're going to be in your power more than you ever have you're going to be stronger than ever you're going to be the empress the entire package like in the public eye too public success public recognition money fame fortune like whatever you want the world is your oyster um look at those cards did i get the i got the magician i got oh my gosh look at this 
Did I get the High Priestess? I thought I got the High Priestess. Maybe I'm tripping. Look at all these good cards, though. Oh my gosh. The Empress, the Magician. Like, look how powerful this person. And it could be male or female. You could totally be a male in this, like, energy. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't have to be a female. It could just be, sometimes men are in, like, a feminine energy. You know what I mean? So it's like, you're, you're good. Um, male or female, but it's like, you got everything coming to you. You got love, you got being in your power, being able to manifest whatever you want. Like the Empress, like, um, like, um, this is like a motherly nurturing energy, but it's like, look how like relaxed this person is too. Like they're just, they're not, they're on their throne. They're not even tripping. They're just like, they're that protected. Like they're good. Um, yeah, the world is your oyster. I'm so excited to see what, what, the cards say in a couple weeks, because with this energy, this is good energy. Like I'm excited to see where you guys are going to be in a couple weeks. But yeah, anyway, so if you want a reading, just email me. My It's in the description box. And um, any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It really adds up quickly. And uh, please subscribe if it resonates. Thank you guys for watching. Look at these cards. I'm still like tripping about these cards. I'm going to put them right here. Okay. Okay. <laughs>